lack of communication and not enough record keeping. That's what was found during an audit of the state health department. The audit examined the health department's response to outbreaks of dengue fever, hepatitis A, and salmonella on tainted ogo. The report says there was a breakdown in communication among officials and even the general public. Elisa Revelo tells us the department is already taking action to make sure this doesn't happen again. Elisa. Marissa, the state auditor tells me there wasn't a complete communications plan in place during these outbreaks. And I'm also told DOH didn't keep a good record of what was discussed during and after the response. Now, I spoke with the director for the Department of Health, and she says she agrees with the auditor's report. In fact, I'm told most of the findings validated what the DOH already knew. The director tells me the department recognizes it needed to do a better job in some areas, but says it's dealing with a lack of communication resources. The director also says that they have developed a new communication plan that addresses a mosquito-borne outbreak, but says that same plan can be used for any outbreak. This was a statewide effort where we worked with the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency and the Department of Health and worked with each county so that we could establish ahead of time what the communication channels, the responsibilities of the various parties are so that next time there is a mosquito for an outbreak, we're, we're much more prepared. Now, some additional staff has already been hired using recent funding. Now, I asked lawmakers about the funding issues. Representative John Mizuno is the chair of the Committee on Health and Human Services, and he tells me if the department can show more critical need, more funding could be approved. Howard and Marissa.